The Code Rush key brings up the Code Rush menu, which gives you access to over 200 refactorings and over 100 smart code building wizards. All of these features are context sensitive, which means they understand the code you want to work with, so you'll only see the refactorings and code providers that apply when the Code Rush menu appears. The Code Rush menu is extensible, which means you or your team can have your own custom refactorings and code generation tools appear inside this menu. And the Code Rush key itself is rebindable, so you can change the default shortcut if you don't like the one you're using. The default Code Rush key is Control plus the backtick. On US keyboards, the backtick is on the same physical key as the tilde. On non-US keyboards, the key may be in a much harder to reach location, which is a good reason to change the binding. I'll show you how to change the binding next. For this first example, I'm going to change the Code Rush key to Control-Alt-Shift-R. This is just an example to show how it's done. I actually recommend easier to hit shortcuts, as the Code Rush menu is something you'll want to be using often while you code. But I'll talk about those alternatives in a bit. First, I'll show you the regular binding here. We'll select this expression, and I'll hit Control Backtick. And there you can see it's brought that up right there. Down here in the bottom, you can see what keys I'm pressing. Up here, if we have a selection where there are valid refactorings, you see the little smart tag right here. You can also click on that if you want to hover over it, and it'll bring up the menu. So what we want to do is we want to change it from Control plus the back tick to something else. So we're going to go bring up the Code Rush Options dialog. We can do this from the, the menus up at the top, or we can bring it up just by pressing a shortcut Control alt shift o that's the shortcut for bringing up the options dialog right there. So we'll go and we want to get to the shortcuts page. You can navigate to it and find it. It's in the IDE tab. Or you can come right up here and just click this handy shortcut button right up here. And that will take you to the shortcuts page. This is where we define all the shortcuts that we ship with Code Rush. What you can do is create a new folder. Call it My Shortcuts here. If it doesn't exist, go ahead and create that now. You can create a new folder just by clicking this button to create the new folder make it a top level folder, give it the name, whatever it's going to be. And I'll call this my super custom shortcuts. And there it is right there. It's an empty folder for now, but that's okay. We're going to choose a new keyboard shortcut right here in key one. We're going to press and hold down control alt shift and then R. We just press the key there that we want to bind it to. By the way, if you want a special key such as backspace, tab, or delete, they're right in there. And so you can do that if you want to, as well as modifiers. You can grab those as well with the menu items if you need to. So I have that. The command that I want to bind it to is smart tag. And if we just type a little bit in, we can then drop down and see the rest of it. And we want smart tag show pop-up is what we want. We don't need any parameters, but it might be nice to say where we want to use it. And so what we'll do is, uh, I like to say, let's use this only when the editor has focus. So I'm going to go into the focus branch here and choose a code editor down here. So only when the code editor has focus will this work. And then that allows us to uh, use bindings that might be used elsewhere, but use them within a very precisely defined context. So I'll just click apply, or OK rather. Since we're done, that'll close that down. And now if I select this down here, let me just come down here. I'll clear this so you can see it. We'll select this right here, and now we'll choose Control-Alt-Shift-R. And there you can see I've just pressed it down the bottom, and the menu has popped up. So that's how you redefine it. With access to over 300 refactorings, declaration tools, and code wizards, I use the Code Rush menu all the time, like around once every 10 to 20 seconds when I'm actively writing code. That means I want to make the Code Rush key as easy as possible to press. So that example of Control Shift Alt R isn't going to cut it. That's too much strain for a feature that I'm going to access hundreds of times a day. One option is to simply bind it to the back tick key. This suggestion was originally proposed by Scott Hanselman, who asks, how many times do you need to use the back tick key in your code? Never? So that's a good point, Scott. Let's show you how to make that change right now. Now that we've already got it defined, we just come up here, activate this field, press the back tick key, and there it is, it's in. Click OK. And now we can come down in here, select the piece we want, hit the back tick key, and there you go. 
we've got it coming up and we can now choose the refactoring that we want to apply. Another option if your keyboard has an extended keypad is to bind the num0 key to the feature. I personally use this and I love it. On my keyboard the num0 key is right between the arrow keys and the enter key. So I can use one hand to bring up the menu, select the refactoring or code provider I want and apply it. CodeRush already ships with a binding to the num0 key so you don't need to add it. That should already be working for you. If it's not working for you, then you can add it like you've already seen. Thanks for watching.